Hi guys, it's Eva Bobbins again. We're back with another Advent Vega video. Uh, this is a request video that I've had quite a few requests for. Um, there's a lot of guys out there that are having problems uh, doing the clockwork mod part of flashing the Advent Vega, which you need a PC to do. Now, on the Windows, it's dead easy. You plug it in, you install drives, and you're ready to go. It's a little bit harder with Linux, and it's really hard with um, Mac OS without playing around with the PCs too much. So I've had a bit of a think and I've come up with a way of doing it without actually using the PC itself. All we need the PC for, albeit Linux or Mac OS, all you need it for is to download your ROM, the recovery kicker from Monaco, the free terminal emulator that I'll put a link to, this is the Jack Pilovich version which is free on the market, the Visionary Plus from Monaco and Clockwork Mob which is recovery.image and flash underscore image. Now I'll put links to everything you need in the doobly doo so you can grab it. Just, all you've got to do is put it on the root of your SD card. Yeah, that's the hardest part is putting it on the root of the SD card. The rest of it I'm going to go through so you don't need to install drivers. And if not that, you'll just need to get this onto your SD card. So you can do this by putting the SD card straight to your PC, into your laptop, however you want to do it. That's all you've got to do. Okay? Now, every other bit I want to go through on video so it makes it nice and simple for you. Um, now, this is a um, stock image that I've just reflashed on the Vega of the system 1.0.9. It's completely stock, I've not done anything to it, all I've done is reverted it black with uh, MV flash. So it's completely as you just, as if I've just bought it from the shop. Okay, so, oh, hitting the camera there. So what we need to do is set it up for UK English, skip through the ULA. Yep, we've read all that. Uh, set the time, I'm not really bothered what the time says. I'm pretty sure it's now out anyway. Yep, it's not done summertime adjust. Right, now here's where some of the work starts. So, you've got your Advent Vega as you need it. You've got all the bits on the memory card. So you've got the ROM, the kicker, the terminal, Visionary Plus and two parts of Clockwork Mod. Now we just need to go off and install things. So you can see now I've got next to nothing on here. I've just got the basic, basic bits of kit. So go to iFile Manager, let's go right to the bottom. Now we're in the SD card folder here, so if it's not, just hit SD, and it'll take you to the SD card folder. Now you can see these here, these six, these are the bits that you need to download. And there's links for everything of these in the links below. The only bit you can change is this one here, which is a ROM. This is basically whatever you want it to be. If you don't want it to be a uh, Vacom 1.5.1, you can have it as... Um, Corvus 5, you can have it as a different system ROM, you can even have it as the uh, Modico R8, whichever ROM you feel like. Okay, now what we have to do is install these, there's no particular order, so that's fine. We'll go through, go through them as the owner list, so this is the recovery kicker, and done. Visionary Plus, this is for routing, install that, and done, and install. This one here, which is the free terminal emulator that's included with most hacked ROMs, and that's it. Okay, so everything's installed. Now, what we need to do is run Visionary Plus. This is the bit that acts differently on different Vegas. So, first, we're going to do a temp boot. Now, you see there, if you get this error, this one here basically means you haven't got USB debugging enabled. So, to enable that, go back to the home screen, hit menu, settings. We go to Applications, Development, and turn the top tick box on here, USB debugging, and you'll get a little warning message, hit OK. Right, now we're ready to go. So go back into Visionary, and hit temp, temp root now. You'll get a little message up, and that should disappear after a few seconds. Once that's done, we'll go back into temp root. OK. If you attempt perm root now, this bit can take a little bit of time. So, what I suggest you do is go back to here and wait to see super user. It can take a couple of minutes, it can take a couple of seconds, it depends purely on your Vega. So, I'm going to leave it for a second here and fast forward the video until we get super user. Okay, so the temp root finally kicked in. 
um, and gave us super user and sorry perm root kicked in and gave us super user it's now doing a quick reboot so this, like I say this can take a couple of attempts if it doesn't always work you can test it's rooted by hitting uh, temp root if it pops up with a super user access then that's fine I'll show you what a super user access form looks like in a second when we get to the um, terminal again so it's just doing a quick reboot and we should be back into the system so we'll do unlock go to here you see now we've got a super user icon so we've got this icon here it's basically a list of anything that requires SU access we needed this to get into the nitty gritty of the machine so go to terminal at the minute it looks like you can just see blue there is a bit of text but it's upside down so that's what we'll you can still see a little bit of blue text so if you hold the top right button down on your Vega you get a menu but pop up hit the bottom left which is preferences go to font size and hit as big as you like I'll put it on 20 so you can see there you can just about make out what it's saying so to test you've got SU hold down the top right button again toggle soft keyboard type in SU hit enter you'll get this little pop up here this is what's called a super user pop up hit allow and now that's got complete super user access so that's that's fine which is just what we needed now down in the doobly doo there are four commands we need to run ok so we get the keyboard up right the first one is we need to copy the recovery dot image to data slash local so we do this by going cp which means copy and if you used to windows you'll type copy but copy doesn't work it's cp and we need to go to the sd card folder so it's mount forward slash sd card then the file which is recovery dot img have to forgive me I'm typing around the tripod um, and we need to go to data forward slash local forward slash always ending the forward slash on the uh, the two and hit OK. It'll take a second and it'll pop back to the uh, the prompt. Then we go to copy again. So it's the same location. So it's MNT forward slash SD card. This time we're copying over flash underscore image. So it's flash underscore. Um, double A there um, and we're going to put that in the same folder so it's forward slash data forward slash local forward slash enter that'll take a few seconds as well so that's it copied over now we have to change the mode on the flash underscore image so we can actually run it as a file so we need to go to change mode which is chmod or as I've spelled it mob and then the file we need to change which is forward slash data forward slash local forward slash flash underscore image actually forgotten what sort of mode we're going to do there so let me scroll it back and try this again ok and we need to change the mode on it so we can actually run it as a file so that's chmod for change mode and we need to change the mode to 4755 which basically means we can run it as an application and we need to tell it where the file is which is forward slash data forward slash local and the file name is flash underscore image hit enter and that jumps straight away, it takes literally half a second to do that now we need to do the flashing of the recovery image which is the part that puts clockwork mod on here so that's uh, going to be forward slash data forward slash local and then because we did the change mode we can run flash underscore images of program 
and then the partition we're going to flash which is recovery and then what we're going to flash it with which is forward slash data forward slash local and then the name of the file once I learn how to spell local which is recovery dot image dot img okay enter here and it will start flashing the recovery partition with recovery and that's it done so now you've got clockwork mod on here we can go back to our main menu and hit recovery kicker and it should put us into that mode we've just flashed which is clockwork mod version 2 point something point something there is a slightly newer version on here but this is the the one that I know 100% works if you flash Corvus 5 you get a new version of this so don't worry about it it should take a few seconds to get in there you can see there now we've got clockwork mod so what we're going to do is go down to as if we're going to flash it so we need to do a white cache partition hit power scroll to yes then hit factory yes again okay and the one part some people forget when flashing which is under advanced which is Dalvik if you don't wipe this you will get problems yes and then we go back a menu and then we go into install zip from SD card choose a zip and you'll see I've got my Vacan beta 1.5 on there, so I'm going to hit yes and then yes to flash and you'll see that's flashing so now once this reboots you'll have your own custom ROM on your Vega without having to do any commands from your PC whether it be Linux based, Mac OS based or anything you can just do it all from the Vega uh, so you're kind of platform independent so you don't have to rely on having Windows on your PC, you don't have to rely on having Linux on your PC or Mac OS. It's all done, all self-contained in the Vega. Once you've got that Clockwork mod on there, you can put any ROM you like on there just by putting it on that SD card and going through that last little bit, little bit of the process. The wiping the cache, wiping the factory, and then wiping the Dalvik, then hitting your ROM for install. Okay, so hopefully that, guys, that uh, video has helped you out, guys. If you've got any more comments about it, leave them in the box below. You can always inbox me for suggestions. Uh, I've had really good responses off these videos. I'm really, really thankful to you guys for getting for the subscriptions I'm getting, for all the comments I'm getting. You know, thank you guys for checking out the channel and uh, supporting me. Um, if you've got any more suggestions, leave them in the box. Inbox me. I'll see what I can sort out, and I'll see you guys next time.